On the 3rd of October, Germany celebrates the reunification of West and East Germany. This year we and our friends around the world celebrate 30 years of the German Unity Treaty, signed in 1990. Dear Ghanaian friends, dear German compatriots, liebe deutsche Landsleute, today we are celebrating our German National Day and 30 years of German Unity. Due to the COVID pandemic, we celebrated this time virtually. German Unity, the fall of the Berlin Wall, and the subsequent signing of the German Unity Treaty exactly 30 years ago were stellar moments in German history. They brought joy, optimism, and a lot of emotions to 80 million Germans and to many more people around the world. Today, we celebrate not only this special day, but also our strong relationships with our partner, Ghana. On the occasion of the 30th anniversary celebration of German Unity, I extend the best wishes of the Ghanaian people and their government to the government and people of the Federal Republic of Germany on this milestone. Trust, ambition, cooperation and courage are exactly the principles that are guiding our cooperation and our partnership and friendship with Ghana. Ghana values very much her relationship and friendship with Germany. 63 years after the establishment of formal diplomatic relations, Ghana has assumed the position of being Germany's fourth largest trading partner in sub-Saharan Africa. And the fruits of Ghana-German relations are evident. Germany is an inspiration for all those of us who want to help build successful nations on the basis of free democratic principles. Our relations with Ghana are in excellent shape. We have seen new highlights and Ghana is now a key partner for Germany in Africa. President Steinmeier was here in 2017, Chancellor Angela Merkel was here in 2018. This year, 2020, we have already launched a couple of new exciting projects. These projects will bring jobs to the names, they will boost vocational training and education, they will empower young girls and women, they will protect the environment and they will mitigate the consequences of climate change. There's so much aspiration and talent in Ghana. A real hotspot of this talent is, for example, Impact Hub in Accra. I'm Will Senior and I've spent the last seven years focused on building Impact Hub Accra with a core mission of supporting three communities of young people tech entrepreneurs, social entrepreneurs, and creatives. And so our goal is to support them with capital, so direct investment, uh, working with our capital partners from across the world. Also building a 20,000 square meter live, work, play community right here in the heart of Usu uh, to support their work and also kind of de-risk a lot of what they are doing so they can focus on their core and also connecting them to global resources and people to expand their vision. The German government's funding for Impact Hub Accra has enabled us to test new ideas, build confidence over time and scale it. Their funding has, has also helped us to invest directly into some of the startups we work with and that funding um, over time has also helped us um, attract extra investors because they've managed to validate what we are building. Another project the German government is supporting is Developers in Vogue. Developers in Vogue is a not-for-profit that trains African women who are passionate about building a career in the tech industry. Through our partnership with the German federal government, we've been connected to relevant stakeholders in Germany and Ghana to help us increase our impact and scale our work. The German federal government has been instrumental in our success so far. We have received professional development training opportunities, funding and media exposure through the government's partners. We have trained 100 plus leaders in digital skills training, such as web development and mobile app development. Most of our leaders have gotten job placement opportunities in companies such as Microsoft, Vodafone, Haptel, Ecobank, and many others. 2020 has seen new highlights in our already strong partnership. Volkswagen has opened a car assembling plant in Ghana. My name is Jeffrey James Opompopra. I'm the chief executive of 
Volkswagen Ghana. What I make sure is meeting my people that, that I work with, especially the technicians who are on the shop floor doing the marvelous work of the assembly work here. It has been a great collaboration also with the ministry, which is the Ministry of Trade and Industry. So there's a strong collaboration between us, the government, the people, and then Volkswagen. And of course, the German government working with the, the German mission here, which has been also a strong backbone for us. Also, what our assistance in Ghana here has been a, a very great impact on the Ghanaian economy. These are really coming from the informal sector that we have brought them together, transferring knowledge to them, and they are doing a marvelous work. I'm very grateful also to the 15 German organizations present here in Ghana and for their valuable contribution to our bilateral relations and our partnership with Ghana. As I said, german ghanaian relations are in very good shape and I still see a lot of potential, untapped potential in our cooperation. Let's continue in the spirit of ambition, courage, trust and cooperation and fulfill the promises for our people. It is my fervent wish in the next 30 years, we'll see even stronger relations between our two countries. Once again, I wish the government and people of the Federal Republic of Germany the very best on this occasion. To my German compatriots, I would like to say Happy Unity Day from the Anschönen Dritten of the